Hi story timers. I missed you guys. I hope you enjoyed the holidays. We had a couple weeks off and now we're right into winter so we can continue our story time theme of winter and snow and animals. So welcome, welcome everyone. Story time has just begun. Welcome one, welcome all. Come on in, we'll have a ball. So before we get started, let's sing hello. Clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We're all here for story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. We're all here for story time. We wave and say hello. Hey, hi, Heidi ho. There are many ways to say hello. Hi, hello, and how do you do? I'm Miss Heidi, and how are you? I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying being back to school or daycare or preschool or just staying home because it's a lot of staying home this winter, but if you get outside, there's no snow out there now, but there might be by the time you see this. You never know when we're going to have another storm. But our story today, over and under the snow. So we'll get to see some little surprises and what comes with the snow. It's a fun one, especially if you like animals, like I do. Now, what we're doing when we go out in the snow is putting our gear on because it's cold outside. We've got caps and jackets and scarves and mittens, uh, heavy boots to keep us warm. Had to put all this stuff away for the season, right? No need for flip-flops, shorts, bathing suits, t-shirts, skirts, and sun hats because it's way too cold for that stuff. We took out the winter attire, the winter clothes, and I hope it's keeping you warm. So. Let's see, I'm gonna dress up warmly. If the day is cloudy and the wind is bold, dress up warmly, you mustn't get cold. Put on your jacket. <laughs> and zip it up tight. Put on your left boot. <laughs> and put on your right. Put on your What's next? Scarf. <laughs> and put on your cap. Keep your head and ears warm. <laughs> put on your mittens. And clap, clap, clap. You don't make much noise when you clap in mittens. <laughs> so come in again and then we'll say, take off your jacket. That was zipped up tight. Take off your left boot and take off your right. Take off your scarf. Take off your cap. Take off your mittens. And then take a nap. There's another book that talks about that. It's got a little froggy in it. You may have read it. He dresses up. You get stressed for the winter when you might want to look for around here. So, what about the animals? go out in the snow though. Remember we talked about some of them going different places for the winter. Ah, let's see. Geese. Geese are honking. Let's take off our winter, winter clothes here. The geese are honking. Hmm, where are they going, I wonder? Hmm. <laughs> Let's fly south. Let's fly south. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> the geese. It's time to migrate. That's what it means when they say fly south. Ducks are quacking. Ducks are quacking. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Let's fly south. Ducks are quacking. Let's fly south. Time to migrate. <laughs> monarchs are flapping. Hmm. Which ones are the monarchs? I think it must be these guys. <laughs> Let's fly south, let's fly south. Flap, flap, flap. Monarchs are flapping. Let's fly south, it's time to migrate. And robins are chirping. Actually, I think these are the robins. These are the monarchs. Look at those, they're a special kind of owl. Yes. Daddy, Oh, butterflies are the monarchs. There we go. Yes. Thank you. Somebody just corrected me. 
Let's fly south. Time to migrate. Ah, the robins are chirping. Let's fly south. Let's fly south. Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> Time to migrate. Ah, the owls. They are hooting. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Time to migrate. Hoot, hoot, hoot. So, they're all flying to a different place down south where it's warmer, and I don't blame them. I'd rather be in a warmer place myself. <laughs> they start up north, and when it gets cold, they go down south where the sun is nice and warm. That's a nice place to be. And speaking of owls, I'm a snowy owl. My feathers are mostly white. And my golden eyes are small, but very, very bright. I have feathers on my claws and toes. Ooh, boy, fuzzy ones. And a long, dark, pointed nose. Very pretty owl. I don't think I've ever seen one of these around here. If you do, you should take a picture, because they are beautiful. All right, so that gets us ready for our story, because it's going to be about some animals that are under the snow that haven't had a chance to go down south. Hmm, so they're staying here and they're either over or under the snow. We'll find out. Before we do though, let's get some movement in, okay? Because we probably want to get all warmed up before we start to sit still. So let's do this. Can you waddle like a penguin? Waddle, 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 back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make a circle. Waddle, waddle. What else can we do? Ooh, stroke like a lynx. I guess maybe they like winter weather. How do we do that? Let's see. Arms down and walk slow. Lift your head and look around. See if you can see. Oh, no. What's next? Ah, bear walk like a polar bear. They sometimes walk on two feet. Sometimes walk on four feet. They're mighty big. They like the water too, even if it's icy. Ah, polar bear. And Clap like a seal. Up high. Up low. And up front. Up, up, up. <laughs> Fly like a snow owl. Boy, we've got a lot of snowy owls here today. Let's see. I don't think they, I guess they fly up pretty high. And I have a feeling they've got big wings. So stretch them out. One, two, three, four, five. And hop like an arctic hare. These are pretty funny. Hop, 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 backwards hop, like a hare. Oh, prance like a reindeer. You ready? Lift both feet nice and high, like a reindeer. Nice long legs to prance. Ah, tiptoe like an arctic fox. I think they might be a little sleepy. They want people to know they're tiptoeing around. And that's a white fox. Very pretty. It blends right in with the snow. And fly like a puffin. Oh, another type of penguin. So let's fly. I don't think they lift their wings up really high. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like a puffin. And those are some of our winter animals. So, now that we're all warmed up, take a rest. So we can read our story this week. It's called Over and Under the Snow. And it is written by Kate Mesner and illustrated by Christopher Silas Neal.
illustrator draws the pictures and the author writes the words. And we're reading it today with permission from Chronicle Books. Ooh, look at all those snowflakes. Over and under the snow. Over the snow, I glide into the woods, frosted fresh and white. Over the snow, a flash of fur, a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Hmm. There he is. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Hmm, look at that. Got their own little home down there. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees, rattling leftover leaves, and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Hmm, that's a big one. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss out of sight. Look at it. It's <laughs> got a nice cute little pointed nose. <laughs> Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust up the hill under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells a story. Hmm. of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They cuddle up, cuddle up against the cold in a nest of feathers and fur. Look at them all down there. Got their own little spot. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Oh, how cute. <laughs> it's a nice little tunnel. Oh, look, they can eat some bugs. Over the snow, I swoosh. Down, down, faster. Down, faster, faster. Oops. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from a shelter of spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Where is she? Oh, look at that. She almost blends right in with the page. <laughs> Over the snow I glide past reeds where tadpoles play tag in springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrogs snooze. They dream of sun warm days back when they had tails. Hmm, here they are, taking their naps. <laughs> Over the snow, I stand and stare, little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? <laughs> I don't think they, that he wants to eat the same thing as the beavers, though. <laughs> Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from the thicket, tips his ear to the ground, listens, listens, listens still. Hmm. Oh, yeah. He's hiding out. He won't get caught by the fox. And he leaps out onto the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws stretch away to find the mouse he heard scratch, scratch, scratching along underneath, under the snow. Ooh, look at this. Over the snow I glide. A full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk waits for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway. His house under my feet. How about that? <laughs> A little chipmunk. Over the snow I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises. Warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. Hmm. So he stopped up. 
brought his own food to get ready for winter. Mm. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallow from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. We need to get warm. Mm. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in the spring. I didn't know that bumblebees lived under the snow in the winter. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery soft flakes. It's coming down. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams. Kind of like the way the animals are under the snow. <laughs> of cuddling deer mice and stumbling frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling voles, drowsy beers and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. Ooh. Dreaming about all those animals. <laughs> and that's what goes on over and under the snow. Hmm. If you check out this book, there's some nice, interesting reading in the back, too, about all these different animals. It's something you might want to get. Animals you met in this book really do eat, sleep, hide, and play over and under the winter snow. And it tells you all about them. So, I hope you like this story and it gets you in the mood we're settling into winter. This is going to be here for a little while. So we might as well make the best of it, right? And also in the library, we have many other books about animals in the snow. This is just a little sample of them. And we are open now for you to come in and browse. You can spend 10 minutes in the children's room if you'd like. And also, if you have an adult who can um, use the computer, they can request books online or they can give us a call and we can put them out in the lobby for you. Also in the lobby, we'll have some coloring pages for you if you want to stop in and get into the winter spirit. We'll have some winter themed activity sheets that will be nice and uh, nice little cozy activities while you're staying in the house. So until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye now.